Good morning from Cape Town, South Africa. It's 6 a.m. We're about to go to launch at Hart Bay and head to Komiki to catch some spiny rock lobster, which we call crayfish. Yeah, we've launched, we're on our way out the harbour. Seems like a good day, little wind. Off to get some rock lobsters. Right, we're on the water. Breakfast time, nice ham roll. Waiting to drop our nets. We only allowed to drop our nets apparently at 8 a.m. and it's now 7 a.m. Beautiful day out here, no wind. Looking forward to catching some crayfish. Right, we must have our crayfishing spots. Four of us on board. There's Astrid, myself, Jean Claude, Francis, Holly, and Liam. Need everybody on board because it's four crayfish per person on the permit. Right. right, dropping our first net. So we've got a bait bag with a couple of pilchards in it. The net tied to a rope with the buoy. Okay, second net goes down. Gotta let them down slowly so that you can feel, otherwise they can land sideways or upside down. You want to keep the weight constant. So that the net lands flat on the ground. This is our second net, the first net is there. You can see we've marked our bottles. We use bottles, otherwise when there's a lot of boats around, everybody looks has the same markers. So on our bottle I've got four black stripes spray paint. You want to put it back in it? Yeah, because you can see the angle it's going. You've got to drop it a bit straight. straight. Okay, our nets are in the water. Um, we're going to wait 10 minutes and then we're going to start by pulling up the first one we dropped and rebate and drop off. Yeah, get some crayfish. Okay, first net was empty, so we're going to try the second net. Right, here we go, second net. Boat now. And one little crayfish, the size. Can you take it, can we? No, it's too small. Oh, this fell out. Yay. So the little ones, we're going to throw back because they still got to grow to maturity. Actually, all undersized. All three. Go back. Live another day. Have yeah. a look, size. No, it's undersized. On the head, on either side like that, then you can't do anything. Is he too small? I think so. Measure them. That's too small, head out. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely too, too small. Though. This is a male, because his tail's narrow and he's got the small flippers underneath. 
females have a wider tail with bigger flippers where they store their eggs underneath. So he's just size and because we haven't got many size we're going to keep him. He's got four legs missing. But if we catch bigger ones and get enough then we start letting the smaller ones go. That's a female. It's a female but it's not in berry meaning there's no eggs. So it is legal to keep it. But I'm not sure. You can see how much bigger these, these flippers are. You see here? Yeah, I know how much bigger the tail is. Yeah, much wider. wider the tail is. I don't think it's size, but let's measure just to be sure. And again, if we catch bigger ones, we need to start letting the smaller ones go. That's size. Yeah, size. Okay. So we can get the rope as straight as possible. So hold it loose at the moment. Can you see the rope? Yeah. So I can still go forward, eh? Yeah. Because if you're pulling straight up, the crayfish don't pull out as easily. Okay. As soon as I'm above it, you start yanking. I've stopped, I've stopped yeah. the boat. Got him! Oh. That's a good sign, as long as it's level. Either stuck in the eyes. Yeah, it's all in the kelp. Let's see. Go, crayfish in there. Go, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. Big ones. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> right, we've got the mother load. Liam, well done. Liam and Ollie are learning. It's their first crayfish experience. So, uh, yeah, we've got some. A lot of small ones. Two, three, four, five, six. So, the small ones we just throw back. Yes, he has a nice size. That's the biggest one of the day. Shut down. Big one. It's a nice, nice. size. And it's, it's a male? Is yeah, that a male? It's a male. It's got it's all his legs. Male. Nice size. South African cold water crayfish. Yeah. Hold him on the feeders. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Tell me when you're on top of it. Drink. Yeah. Pull here, pull, pull. You gotta win that prize. That's it. In the boat, quick, pull. Oh, oh there's one huge one monster. Oh. Those legs are good. Oh. Yo, oh, look at that one. Oh. Oh, that's, don't drop him overboard. <laughs> Pick him up, Liam. Yeah, that's a heat. Now yeah, that's, that's a proper crayfish. Okay, yeah, this is the spot. Yeah, let's just sort quick toy back and For all you wear. Go, 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 See the legs are quite thin, so when they get th when their legs are thin, that they normally borderline size, but we can be sure it's thin. Okay, great. We've got a couple of nice crayfish out of the pool. Putting some more bait in. These are just uh, pilchards, nice and oily. Put them in the bait bag, and we're ready to go. Okay, we pulled up our crayfish net. We got two hot and fish. Very good eating, so they'll join the bag for the cook later. Okay, it's been a great morning out at sea. I think we spent yeah, three and a half hours. We managed to get almost our quota, which was six now, we got 12. And look forward to getting back and cooking them and showing you how good they taste. All right, I've called the two fishermen, the two boys, Ollie and Liam, to come and put the crayfish in the water. He must put him in. He's gonna try and pick up. Next one. Okay, cut. Cool, so these crayfish have been steaming, boiling for about five minutes. Only part cooking because we're going to be butterflying later and putting on the barbecue on the, on the bright gas. Right, I'm making a basting while we've steamed the crayfish. They're 80% cooked. We're going to butterfly them, which I'll show you shortly. And I'm making a garlic, chili, lemon, butter basting to baste them while they're on the grill. Right, we've started cooking our lobsters. They've been parboiled. Now I have cleaned them. Skinned the um, meat down first, just to brown them off a little bit without drying them out. And once I turn them, then I baste them with the garlic, lemon, chili, 
butter sauce. Once I turn them over, and that's the end result over there. 